This is a call for an uprising. We welcome you to today's show. We ask those of you who have not subscribed to please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we continue to expose the satanic Illuminati agenda. Today's episode, I want to talk about the Georgia Guidestones. A lot of people aren't even familiar that they exist in the United States of America. But as, as I've been pointing out, there are a lot of monuments, a lot of symbols in plain sight that will point you right to what is going on, which is the Illuminati and the New World Order and the end times that we're in and the takeover that we're under. Okay, the Georgia Guidestones, some refer to it as the Stonehenge of America or America's Stonehenge. Okay, 1980, a guy under a fake name, of course the name was R.C. Christian because it was a shot at Christian's, Okay, he hired a granite company to build this unmovable structure down in Georgia, now known as the Georgia Guidestones. It is the ten, pretty much the Ten Commandments for the for the elitists and their objective. Okay, for wh- whether this occurs after World War Three or if this is a prelude to World War Three, but I'll read you the Ten Commandments that are on there, and the entire thing is in is in so many different languages. I don't know if you've, if anyone has ever been there, they know what I'm talking about. It's massive, and there's it's in hydroglyphics, it's in Greek, it's in English, it's in, you name it, it's in every single language, so that everyone from every nation who's left standing will know the new rule of the land. All right, so let's go over this new rule of the land. Number one, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, right? Because they push this nature, paganism crap. But that's a very hefty goal, being that right now the current population is set, oh, a little bit over 7 billion, and they want it at 500 million. So you're talking about wiping off a lot of people. And this is in plain sight. We're okay with this in Georgia, that, there's this, that this has been placed there under surveillance, of course, cameras everywhere in case somebody wants to go defame it. Right? They want to make sure nobody touches their commandments. You can't even put the Ten Commandments out in front of a courthouse anymore, but you can put the, their commandments up, their laws of the land, right? which should be offensive to all, being that it says to keep the population under 500 million when we're at over 7 billion. So what does that mean for the rest of the world? That they're planning a massive extermination. right? And look at the signs pointing towards it, the FEMA camps, the stuff that they've created with ISIS. Korea, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Their plan all along is to depopulate. Five hundred million is the goal. I've put in the other videos. I put clips in there from Henry Kissinger, Ted Turner, all these elitists talking about Bill Gates, how we need to get the population down. It's right there in the Georgia Guidestones. Their guide for the rest of humanity, whoever survives what's about to occur. Goal two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Okay, so they even want to control who's producing and who's not. We've seen that in other countries before where you're only allowed to have a certain amount of children under law of the land. They're going to guide that. They're not going to allow you to have as many kids as you want. They're going to defy God and his will. You're going to be under such strict dictatorship. Number three, unite humanity with a living new language. Okay, that's a one language. They want to go back to one language, like it was at the Tower of Babel before God scrambled up the languages to prevent them from starting a new world order. Okay, so they want to go back to one singular language. Number four, rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Number five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts, right? Just courts that they control completely like they do now. Number six, let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. That's right, a world court. A one world court. Seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. I don't even need to get into what that means. Jeez. Eight, balance personal rights with social duties. In other words, make sure you balance, right? Because they're all about balancing the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. As above, so below. They want to make sure you balance your personal rights with your social duties, your obligations socially in this new world order. 
Number nine, prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Oh, that's very nice and pagan. Number 10, be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room f for nature. Leave room for nature. They say it twice, to leave room for nature. Folks, forget the Ten Commandments, according to the elitists. Because you've got a new Ten Commandments, their commandments, the law of the land, man's law. No longer God's law. Like I said earlier in this video, you can't even display the Ten Commandments outside a courthouse. Okay, you can't even display them anymore. But nobody's in an uproar about this facade that's been put up, that's allowed to stay up, that's, under, that's being monitored 24-7 surveillance to make sure nobody touches it. Right? This is their law, the Masonic law, the Satanic law, how they want you to live, how they're going to control your life. This is in plain sight. Has anyone ever heard of it? I hope you have. If you haven't, here's the news flash. This is in plain sight in Georgia. It's a monument. People go on vacations to visit it. And nobody seems to have a problem with it. Sure, there's some people here and there that might pro go there and spray paint it or desecrate it or do something to it. But as Christians, we can't even display the Ten Commandments anymore. But we're okay with this new commandment, which says that we need humanity under 500 million to have perpetual balance with nature. And we have 7 billion now. 7 billion to 500 million. So they want, how many people do they want to kill? Oh, 6.5 billion? Oh, is that all? Oh, that's not a big deal then. I mean, right? No big deal. We allow this to happen. We can't. We can't allow this to happen. Not like this. Where, where are people protesting this? Where are people going to the court? The, the, this is just shows you how much control they have in power. They won't even listen. They'll ignore you. But the sheep continue to go about their work every day. Their pointless desk work, sitting at a desk, being a slave to the system. While they're planning your demise right in front of your eyes. Just, they're just distracting you. It's just a matter of time. They've got a time and a date probably penciled in. And while you're filing GPS, T, uh, TPS reports, okay, they're looking at their clock going, yep, okay, we're right on schedule. We're going to get it down to 500 million. And then just like that, all of us are going to be extinct because we did nothing about it. We have to wake up. We have to see these things in plain sight. Share it with your friends. Share the Georgia Guidestones. Tell them about this if you didn't know and say, what in the world? Can you believe this? It's not a coincidence. What do you think? Somebody randomly just put it there? It doesn't have significant meaning behind it? Come on. Of course it does. They're telling you in plain sight what your future holds, what my future holds, what our children's future holds. These sick, satanic, perverse scumbags that need to be exposed. Help me in exposing them. Get the word out. Share this channel. Or don't share the channel. Find somebody else out there that's exposing the truth. If you like their voice better than mine, and share theirs. The goal is to get this message out. To wake people up. To lead them back to our Father Yahweh. To lead them back to belief in Jesus Christ. The true and one and only Messiah. Okay? To bring the Holy Spirit to them. To get them to snap out of this trance that they're in. We have to do this together. It's an awakening process, and everybody has to be involved. All right? Thank you for listening to today's show. God bless you. May peace be with you.